Hello, this is MPT Andrea. I hope you're all having a good evening. It's a Sunday night here and I'm getting ready for my work week. It's the last work week before Christmas, so, or the holiday season, whatever it is that you celebrate. I thought I'd do an in-person demonstration of this new transfer tray chair that I have. I also installed a new shower head. I like the shower head because I can also get some water from there if I want to, or not. So, as I said, I have a very, I had to move, and I um, didn't really get the most ideal place. Thank you to people who helped me get it, but it's not very um, MPT friendly. Lots of stairs, not much, I don't have an accessible bathroom. So, this chair, um, underneath me right here, there's a button that I push. When I push that button, nice sidearm here it slides me out over the bathtub then i'm able to easily swing this leg and obviously my residual leg i did just finish my bathroom. i don't always wash my hair bath cap sorry let's take that off um yeah i don't wash my hair every time i have a shower so my hair is nice and dry so then the next thing i do is i have a lever there's a red lever under here when I push that lever down, it swings me so that I'm actually facing whatever it is I want to be facing. I don't put my leg on when I get out of a shower. Um, so, and then underneath here, which I'm not going to show you, um, there's a, a seatbelt. First I thought, I'm not going to use a seatbelt, but actually it's really handy. So when you're bending forward and you're reaching for your shampoo bottles and things like that, it was re it's really easy to do that and then not lose your your balance um just um just keep your keep your camera up there caitlin <laughs> just making sure i'm nice and tight here um so that um make sh it makes sure that you're not losing your balance when you're leaning forward and leaning down as you know not only have i am an amputee but i also had the misfortune of breaking my um sorry of breaking my good good leg and good kneecap so um I don't want to be putting too much weight on that. So then, check and make sure I'm still locked. So then I just, now I'm facing forward, really easy for me to get up, swing, and I just get into my wheelchair. As you can see how tight things are in this bathroom, really tight. Normally, I would just turn around, swing towards my mirror, and get ready for my day um, for the purposes of this video. I'm going to see how tight everything is. I'm getting really up close and personal. This is how much room I have in my bathroom. Hit me up, anybody, <laughs> if you have um, accessible housing for me. It's not worth in Ontario. It's not doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. It'd be really, 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 really helpful if anybody has accessible housing. So thank you very much for. Oops. See how I have no room to maneuver. So thank you very much for watching this video. Again, Caitlin, if you want to show them the transfer bench. Yeah. It's been a lifesaver for me now that I'm in a much smaller housing space, less accessibility. It's been a lifesaver for me. So um, like the video um, if you like it. And I'll see more of you. Like I say, really feel a lot better now that I've recovered from the broken leg. So take care and be well.